Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and recently Bamboo Lab held an AMA session over on Reddit. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything, and that lets the community ask Bamboo Lab employees whatever they want. And in turn, the employees get to answer those questions for the community. So this went down on April 29th, and there were some very interesting questions asked, as well as some pretty interesting answers that were given. So I went through the AMA and I cherry picked a few interesting questions and we're gonna go over them right now. Starting with a question about what is happening in the future with Bamboo Lab. One question reads, when will we see a worthy competitor to the Prusa XL? We want big print volumes and Bamboo Lab quality, to which Bamboo Lab replied, we're working on it and we believe the wait will be worth it. 2024 is all we can say for now. So that was the first big teaser, a new printer from Bamboo Lab to at least be revealed in 2024. But what about it is going to be special? Well, some people tried to get a little bit more information out of Bamboo Lab, such as the, AMA, the AMS works great for multicolor printing, but are there any plans for a multiple tool head printer? In which Bamboo Lab replied, we can share details at this time, but we're working on the new generation printer, which will be launched this year. Maybe an additional follow-up question. When will we see something bigger than the X1C? The moment you announce the next flagship, I will order it. Bamboo Lab says we're working on it and we'll share more about it soon. So even though there's not a whole lot we can take from this, one thing that I'm at least willing to bet money on is that whatever Bamboo Lab puts out this year, it is going to be a bigger printer, the larger print volume than what we currently see on their largest printers. That's just my guess. Pretty sure that's going to be a thing, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So next up, questions about the A series. One question asks, are there plans for an A1XL? Bamboo Lab says no. It's hard to build a bed slinger with large heat with a large heat bed that can print fast and also deliver excellent results. For larger print volumes, different chromatics would be better suited. So that puts the matter to rest. The A1 is going to be as big as it's going to get. It has a bed size of 256 millimeters cubed, which is not small, pretty much like a standard size. It's bigger than some other mainstream printers out there. You can print a helmet on it and you can wear the helmets that you print on it. But if you're looking for something that is much bigger, something that you would get in like a uh, I don't know, Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus or 4 Max in a bed slinger form, not happening with Bamboo Lab. But continuing on with the A-Series, Technical Rex, Rex asks, with two AMS slots found on the A1 Mini, and I assume the A1, are there any plans to make two AMS lights compatible with the A1 Series? Otherwise, what was the point of two AMS slots? Redundancy? Bamboo Lab says, we don't have any plans to add multiple AMS light support for the A1 series. The secondary port is designed for future compatibility with accessories. Now, some people followed up with that. They asked, what accessories? Which accessories? Bamboo Lab, Lab did not have an answer for those. So they're not ready to tease those quite yet. But this does present an opening for competitors, such as AnyCubic with their Cobra 3 combo and their Ace Pro multicolor filament system. Now that system is going to be capable of uh, letting you print with eight colors and not just four. So that right there already kind of gives it an edge over the A1 series, you know, just as far as multicolor printing is concerned. So if that's something that you really just need to have, you want something that is smaller, you don't care if it's a bed slinger, but you want to have as many colors as you think you need, such as eight, then you won't be able to get it with the A series, but you will be able to get it with the AnyCubic Cobra, Cobra 3. So that's just something to keep in mind. Or on the other hand, you can just buy something from the P series or the X series from Bamboo Lab and get a couple different AMS units, and then you'll be able to print eight colors at a time. But by the way, just a quick plug, if you are interested in that AnyCubic Cobra 3 combo, 
I do have a link down in the description where you'll be able to go and when it becomes available, you'll be able to pick it up. The regular price on that is gonna be $449, but there's a code I'm gonna put that in the description. If you use the code, it's gonna give you $30 off an order of $400 or more. So that means you can get the AnyCubic Cobra 3 combo for $419. That's a pretty darn good deal. So if you're interested in that, both the link and the code to get that discount is gonna be down in the description. So make sure that you come back and just check on it because when it does become available and you're able to order it, that's when the code will work and you'll be able to add everything to the cart. But anyway, back to Bamboo Lab. Next question. This is from a developer. Now, as a developer, I ask this, will there be any public API or hooks that we can use in different integrations or third-party tools? As an example, the A1 camera is good enough for remote checking if there was a failure, but maybe I like to use a DSLR camera to make a real time lapse. So I need a trigger or something to ask the camera to take a photo. I like what you're doing, you're the only company at the moment to deliver the most value in my opinion. Good news about this particular question, Bamboo Lab says that we have plans for API integrations, but this will take more time until it's ready for prime time. So it's a confirmation, it is coming, that is good. You can just wonder about the possibilities of having that API available and the different things that developers can create to work with the Bamboo Lab printers, but it is nice to see that it is coming eventually. Now for the last question here is perhaps the most important question of them all. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? This question could make or break Bamboo Lab. What did they say about it? Pineapple on pizza never hurt anyone. We love it, smiley face. All right, well, there you go. Bamboo Lab's officially canceled because of pineapple on pizza. I'm kidding. Um, if I can just weigh in on this for just a quick second. I've had pineapple on pizza one time. First time I had it was at CC's Pizza somewhere in Memphis. and. I gotta admit, it wasn't bad. You know, I actually kind of liked it, pineapple on pizza. I don't see anything wrong with it either. Now, if I just saw it on a menu somewhere, I wouldn't deliberately go for it, but if I'm at a buffet and there's a bunch of different types of pizza, I'll get like a slice of pineapple pizza just for the heck of it. But seriously though, there is more to this than just pineapple on pizza. The bigger part of the question is this. Any plans to offer more open source versions of your RFID tags? Even a tag that just has color data that we could buy blank from you would be great. I wouldn't even mind it if it didn't properly estimate filament use, etc. but just enable the AMS to detect the color and material would be great. Bamboo Lab says there's currently no plan to open source the RFID data. And that is Disappointing, but it's also understandable. Um, that's a really good money maker for Bamboo Lab. Being able to have that RFID data in the filament spools that they sell, that you can only get from them, and those filaments are tested and they are going to provide, in the best situations, of course, uh, an optimal printing experience, something that they can more or less guarantee with their filaments that they can't do with others. And it also just allows people to come back and keep buying more product from them, more consumables from them. I'm taking a look over on their website here, and when you buy your filaments in rolls of either two or more, you stand to save some money and the final price is not going to be too much more expensive than some other branded filaments that you would buy on Amazon. So for example, if you buy three rolls of just regular PLA basic, they're going to come to $21.99 each. That's with the spool. But if you just want the refill, it'll take it down to $18.99 each. You know, that's not bad. And it's the same thing with their PETG basic and their translucent filament and their ABS filament. You know, it's all just the same price. And then you get the RFID uh, bonus to go along with it. And other companies are going to be doing this too. We know that AnyCube is working on their RFID system. Them, and I imagine that everyone else who comes out with their own AMS-like system, multicolor filament system, will also try to sell you their filaments, so they'll use the RFID stuff as well. So this is just one of those things that, uh, hey, it's a good money maker. Why let everybody else have it, you know? So that's uh, unfortunate, but you know, business. 
So those were some of the best questions that I was able to find in the AMA with Bamboo Lab from Reddit. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and look through the whole thing for yourself and see what you can glean from what they had to say. So that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this 3D printing related, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm cranking out the videos and I'll have another one coming out very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.